Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the old school game snob, and this is the formula that I was able to use to find myself a gold dagger in probably about half an hour, honestly. So, you're going to be gambling with the Geed, and I think you're going to need about, oh, half a million, a million gold or so to kick things off. To do this, you'll need a character that's capable of gathering up some gold pretty fast. I like the Eldritch Pimbleskin run. You can grab the armor worth 30,000 gold apiece, 35,000 gold apiece, and, uh, you know, come up with half a million, a million gold in, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? It's pretty fast. It's pretty easy. So we are going to be gambling for the Gull Dagger. This is a nice magic find dagger, 100% magic find. So here's the thing. Here's the thing that maybe not everybody knows. When you gamble at a low level, your gambles are way less expensive. Look, I can gamble a dagger for 1,607 gold. By comparison, on my level 90 character, gambling for a dagger costs 45,000 gold. So here's the equation really quickly on how gambling works. I have a whole video talking about gambling if you want to get more detail, but in a nutshell, the item level that you're gambling for equals minus 5 to plus 4 of what your current character level is. So if your current character level is 11, uh, let's actually use 10. If your current character level is 10, then you gamble items anywhere between 5 to 14. So if you take a look at this website, I will link this in the D2 links in the description area below, uh, you can see that the Gull Dagger has an item level of 6. So the best level to gamble for the Gull Dagger would be character level 11. Character level 11 could potentially gamble anywhere between item level 6 and item level 15. So I know that if my character level is 11, I'll absolutely be able to gamble the Gull Dagger with every try. Also, since my level is so low, my gambling price is number one cheap, and also there's only so many unique items, unique daggers available that I could potentially gamble. So I think actually the gull dagger might be the only one that I can potentially gamble. So if I get any unique dagger at all, it's the gull dagger. Now this is of course especially convenient in Diablo Resurrected because we can gamble the same item just by clicking it over and over and over again. So we are off to the races here. Here we go. Right about at this point, I figure it's probably a good time to speed up this video. Unless you, all of you want to watch me gamble like 2,000 daggers. I, I doubt it. <laughs> all right. Prepare to fast forward! Prepare to fast forward! Fast forward! A few moments later. Oh, and hey, I just wanted to thank you absolute rock star Diablo 2 fans uh, for subscribing to the channel. We are now 10,000 strong. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the support. All right, back to the video. Well, 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 there she is. And uh, how much gold did we end up spending for that? I got uh, 400,000 in the stash, and I took out, uh, um, took about, uh, you know, what? we got, we got that gold dagger for about half a million gold. That's not too very bad at all. Now, I think this formula is especially effective for gambling up something like Gull Dagger because it's so low level, but you could also potentially gamble up something like Mage Fist. You just look for the base item type and try to be around the right level for it. So Mage Fist here, I've got a level 39 character, which is right around optimal, not too bad, pretty close. Mage Fist would cost 12,000 to gamble, which is fairly reasonable. You could potentially gamble for something like Gold Wrap. Here's the Heavy Belt, also around 10,000 to gamble. Fairly reasonable. I will link this page in the description area below. Actually, I'll link this on d2links.net. That's where I put everything useful. And you can just kind of reference and see which unique item you're looking for and see if it's a viable, uh, viable cheap gambling option. Hey, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate all the likes, all the subs, all the support. Join the pack. Check the Discord link in the description below. See you all in the next video.